Hello everyone and welcome to Pan Gallery's Gay Artists video. We'll be talking with various artists from the gallery about their art, about gays and about gay art. And today we're going to be talking with the prolific artist Eitan Kedmi, who does uh, mandalas and uh, draws men he meets on gay dating sites. So he has this project for 20 years, he's been meeting uh, gay men and he's been drawing them. So we'll go now and have a look and also a little bit about his embroidery projects at the moment. So let's meet Eitan, shall we? I remember myself like three or four years old that uh, I, uh, I drew. This was something very, very uh, deep. You remember what? No, at the beginning I don't think I I, uh, I drew something. It was very uh, abst abstract. But yeah, but I have I have a lot of uh, drawings when I was very small kid. I, I loved loved to, to to draw. You keep them? Some of them, yeah. How was it uh, to grow up as a gay artist in uh, Tel Aviv? Um, let's say. 20 or 30 years ago? A very complicated uh, question because uh, when I grew up in Tel Aviv, nobody talked to me about uh, homosexuality. It seemed to me that I'm the only one. You know, at my, uh, uh, with my parents, I, I never talked about it. Like, there is no such thing, not, not in... I grew up in Ramat Aviv, which is a very, very good area of Tel Aviv. But uh, never, nobody uh, talked about it. The first time I think I was, it was when I found a book in uh, my neighbor's house, which I could read about homosexuality, but I, I didn't find it any, anywhere. Have you ever uh, came out to them? After my, my mother died, I uh, got a divorce from my second wife and I had a boyfriend and my father knew him. He didn't talk to him a word. He didn't want to, 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 to recognize that I have a boyfriend. It was very, very difficult for him. My uh, family was very much uh, macho-oriented. My, my father was a spy in the Mossad and my, my, our parents uh, wanted very much that their sons will be in the army and will be officers. My brother was very into it and uh, every, every year in the holiday of Purim, remember we, we dressed like that, uh, uh, my father brought my, my brother a costume of an officer and every year he, he gave him a higher <laughs> position. <laughs> it was, yeah, he was very much into it. <laughs> to, to grow up in a family, to be sensitive in such a family, it was very difficult. They didn't understand what I want, what, what I do. They didn't uh, appreciate at all my art. So all the time I had to keep it for myself. I was not expected to show myself, my true self. How about your feelings and emotions? You don't have to be yourself. You just have to function and to be good and to be successful. And it's better if you will be a, a doctor or a lawyer and uh, not an artist, you know? It was frightening for them. And my, uh, my way of expressions about myself and telling things about other people and what I feel about other people. You know, sometimes people uh, wait for inspiration. I, I never stopped, you know, all the time I have my, my inspiration. Most of the inspiration was from, you know, the feelings and, and, and thoughts. I, it was the only way for me to express my emotions. I had to do it all the time, you know. And for how long you've been creating gay art? I think it began, I, I had two studios. One studio was for my art, and one studio was for my 
illustration and graphic design. So it was separated all the time. It was like two persons that uh, do art. It's, uh, one person was the graphic designer, which is very much into art world, you know. Uh, and, and also the, uh, I was a cartoonist in the newspaper. So it's all the time with uh, communication articles and books and the other part was very close uh, studio which I did my art there and then I started to invite male models to, to draw everybody brings his own story for example we talked about regular people you know, I didn't uh, I, I didn't uh, I, I wasn't looking for um, uh, mo model, like the model look, you know, very strong and very... Uh, just I wanted to, to feel the person. So you've been painting um, male nude for the past 25 years? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you find gay art important? It's part of the whole gay um, art scene in Israel and everywhere else I don't I didn't think about it because I didn't do it for sake of art that word was for graphic design and illustration and cartoon, cartoonist so I deal with the art world with another kind of art so this was only for me and for the closed <laughs> studio yeah I think it's very important in what ways? I think, uh, uh, oh, okay, this is the mission of the artists, you know, to uh, show themselves and uh, other people can uh, inspire by this, you know, if you are gay and you do it, you are proud of yourself, so others can, can take it like inspiration for their life. For me, it's, uh, it's kind of a spiritual way to, to feel again my life and uh, what I'm doing here and, you know, to show everything that belongs to my life and thinking and emotions and everything. Uh, creativity comes from nothingness and you can't control it just to be with the, the growing of the, the thing that comes every moment. I had no opportunity to speak about the split of my personality, that there was the mandala, which is my spiritual life, and there was the male nude, which is my passion or my inner self, the hidden self, you know. It was really hidden. And uh, I think that it's nice for me, you know, it's, uh, to to bring it together and to, to, to look at it and to, to, to say to myself even, this is you, you are not one. I, I don't have to, to hide myself or to hide part of myself, just to bring myself like it is. It looks like Bruce Willis. Safti <laughs> Rimon. <laughs> 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 What can you tell me about the mandalas? The mandala came to my life in a very, very uh, difficult time. I was uh, after the divorce and I was very, very depressed. And I really felt that uh, my life came to uh, a dead end. And suddenly I found uh, uh, the mandala. It was very, very uh, strange. Yeah, I do a lot of mandalas, as you, you can see. Yes. And what can you tell me about your current work? And now, what I'm doing yes. now, um, I uh, most of the time what I'm doing now is the embroidery, as you can see here, uh, in 
two parts of the, of the wall that start here in this uh, embroidery here. I, I was in uh, South of America, in uh, Guatemala, in uh, Atitlan Lake. So I, I sat there for three months and I did this uh, em embroidery with uh, the colors of uh, South of America. And, um, and th this I called the self-portrait. Like uh, I wanted to, to make a uh, self-portrait of me, like... Uh, I um, can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of uh, signs. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was fun. It was fun. No one asked me. No one asked me about these things. It was fun. It was fun.